One of the biggest criticisms of the Game of Thrones series on HBO was the seemingly sudden personality change that resulted in the crash and burn character arc for Daenerys Targaryen. We're a few years out from the series finale and the story still weighs heavy on people's minds. With the new House of Dragon series and the pending Duncan Egg series, which I might add, I think is gonna be the best series yet, I decided to do a GOT rewatch. With the perspective that time and distance give, let's retrace Daenerys' character arc in season eight to see what led to her downfall. Warning, there will be spoilers. Okay, stay with me as we step through this and hit the subscribe button and let me know what you think in the comments below. Up to the end of the seventh season, Daenerys dealt fiercely with blow after blow to her mental and emotional health, but she always tried to be a good person. And since she was dealing with generally evil people, we cheered her on and we loved her for it. It was clear from her first scene back in season one, she just wanted to be loved and she just wanted stability. The very things that eluded her right up to the end when she realized that winning wasn't really winning at all if you won alone. I think season eight suffered from three primary issues. First, over the first seven seasons, Daenerys had earned the love and forgiveness of the audience. We carried that with us well into season eight. The writers or maybe the studio didn't account for how much more time was needed to properly erode that trust before we would be ready to believe that Daenerys really could burn down a city with all those people inside. Second, Season eight needed at least one more episode to breathe. Think of a fine wine. You can't just like open it and drink it. You need to breathe, let it breathe a little bit in order to really get the flavor of it. Instead of giving us that time that we needed, multiple earth shattering events were crammed into every episode. It was exciting, yes, but without giving us the time to digest what we just saw, it was really hard to like pull those pieces together. If we blinked, we were likely to miss an important look, word, or gesture that helped to convey Daenerys's impending doom. While the audience didn't feel the passage of time within that story world, the characters did, and they regularly conveyed what they were seeing in Daenerys's change. They were all absurdly worried about it. And we, the audience, just figured they were wrong because Daenerys was the hero. She was good. We cared for her. We loved her. But we were wrong. They weren't wrong. Those clues, those breadcrumbs were there. We just weren't given... We just weren't given the time and the scope to see it like they did. And third, the writers took some shortcuts because of the compacted timeline due to the smaller number of episodes in that final season. It felt like certain actions were really out of character for Daenerys. There was an emotional shorthand that the writers were taking to explain an episode's worth of suffering in the matter of a few minutes. And that just doesn't work. Plus the week long gaps between episodes compounded the effect of softening what details we were given into forgettable moments as the next cataclysmic event took place. These three issues made it easy to miss the telltale signs of Daenerys' decline as she spiraled from anger and loss and despair and finally landed on a recalibration of purpose that was ignited by the bells of surrender that tolled throughout King's Landing. In that moment, she needed destruction, not surrender. She needed to release all of that pent-up 
pain and anger that had kind of built up over the years in her quest for this city that just didn't love her, but now was asking for her mercy. Looking back at that, at those pivotal moments in season eight, there really is a steady decline in her character's ability to hold on to the goodness inside of her. In those final few episodes, she realizes a couple things. She loves Jon Snow to her own detriment. He is the rightful king and the rightful heir to the throne. And he is a danger to her. All that she has sacrificed, everyone she has lost, was all for nothing. Because if she didn't have someone left with her to love and to share it with, it was empty. And that emptiness changed her. She lost her brother. She lost her husband, her baby, two of her three dragons, her best friend, her protector. Worse, toward the end, she lost the love of her life who had to step back and just love her as his queen in order to support her. And in those moments, in those moments of loss, she lost her goodness, choosing instead to rule through fear. And she mentions that several times leading up to that monumental, pivotal moment in King's Landing. Everything, all of this led to her moment of victory. And with those bells ringing surrender throughout the city, she won, but it wasn't enough. All she had left was anger and fear. And so she burned the city, even as her own heart burned away that despair and pain from within her. Then upon the steps of the Red Keep, she swore to bring freedom to the world, whether they wanted it or not, and she would rule them all. The change in her character was now complete. In the finale, Tyrion gives a brilliant speech from his jail cell that pretty much lays out exactly why none of us saw Daenerys's tyrannical turn to power. Because we loved her and believed in her, we cheered her on, not seeing what she was becoming because as Tyrion says, love is more powerful than reason. And we all forgot that we were in a Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is a political dance of swords and wits and passion where only the fiercest survive and the most dangerous players are the ones you least suspect. And remember, there is nothing more powerful than a good story. And George R.R. R. Martin, he knows how to tell a killer tale. If you enjoyed this review, please join my YouTube community and hit subscribe. Be sure to post a note below. Do you agree? Am I wrong? Let me know what you think. Let me know what your story is. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks so much, everyone. And remember, it really is all about story.